right, greetings and salutations, everyone. Uh, I wanted to show my new Versatote grain cart. So what I got was the 5,000 pound grain cart with the two foot extender hitch. There's the fine, there's the price. So they make you pay for half of it and then the other half when you pick it up or you can have it shipped. Here's the extra two foot extension. Normally it would be like right here, but we added the two feet so you could actually maneuver this thing around. We also got the 5,000 pound, so it's actually pretty tall. I'm about five foot seven, so it's about here. And uh, got all that space there. That's their website, by the way, hotwoods.com. So here's the rear. Let's do a nice big shot of it. And as you can see, it's got wheels. It's got a system here that you can drop this down. There's one in the front, so you can park this after you fill her up. The grain door does a nice little funnel system right out here. A five gallon bucket fits perfectly right there. Then you just open on up and the grain slides in. One thing I don't like is I see that they ground this out right there. I'm probably going to fill this in with, uh, I don't know, some Bondo, make it nice and smooth. And there it is with the Bondo fill and a spray coat on there. There's no need to have that gap there. I also noticed that they didn't <laughs> uh, paint the inside. The whole inside is, is just regular steel. So don't know how I feel about that. Don't think I'm going to go in and actually do anything about it. I've also noticed it's got these weird, this pin system here. I don't, I, I kind of get why this one's here to hold it in place, but I don't know what this one's for. It's got a little grain window to see, I guess, when you're getting low. In addition to that, so here's a side view, how it angles it out. There we go. And there's a little access ladder. And the access ladder's nice, getting on in here. I don't like this, so we're gonna get into the things I didn't like that they did. I do like that they bent the metal here, so that way the water will drain off of it. But while we were driving it 600 miles, we noticed that this was being bent because the center of here is actually being lifted up and bending this part right here. This was doing a very awful job of just holding it down. It'd be fine for maybe five, 10, 20 miles, but that's why they added this chain. But I don't like this chain because it immediately rubbed off the paint. So I am definitely going to cut that. And when we transport it, I'm just going to strap a strap from the ladder all the way into that back corner. The reason I did the back corner is because that's the only spot that it'll fit. They did put a little bolt there that allows you to screw it down to keep it from sliding back and forth. Now, getting it the 600 miles was not difficult. Once I put that strap in, I felt pretty secure. I wish I would have taken that chain off sooner. It doesn't serve a purpose now, as long as I remember that strap. And the next thing is this paint is not the greatest. I've already got chips from going the 600 miles. So in order to prevent obvious issues, I'll probably do some glazing putty and then I will put the paint on to fix that. Oh, the other reason I got this one, feed the chickens easier. Just heck, I can buy 5,000 pounds, not deal with it for a while. The other reason was this thing was a perfect height for that. So I'll be able to actually fill this thing up with that. The regular grain carts are way too tall. All right, another thing I added, well, I welded. I welded on this handle, put some little step tape on here so that way I can grip onto this, yank up and access that bolt there and undo that. Probably gonna take that off and remove it. Main reason this is here is because I to access the other handle that you can hook a ratchet strap onto. <clears throat> And that ratchet strap is on there. So that way it can go up here. And the other side can then hook on to this strap here. And the reason I did that is so that way this can actually be held down. So I had to do a ratchet strap to drive it, as you saw before. So I wanted to make a more permanent method of always using the ratchet strap. 
since that's much more secure than just that little bolt and this poor rubber thing was getting destroyed and not to mention that chain was eating up the metal which as you see i had to repaint i didn't have the exact color gray but i got close and uh just tap some paint down there so it will rust slower hopefully other thing i did was more stepping tape since you have to access this ladder i uh put the old stepping tape here and here and here and here and here not on these since i typically don't stand on these these are mostly for gripping but that uh, should hopefully make it easier to access in the uh, rain. One last little reminder I printed out and labeled for myself is I put the tire pressure numbers on there since uh, they're not on the tires or anything like that. Because you're gonna want it at 35 if it's unloaded and going on the highway and 60 PSI if it's loaded regardless of where you are. So yeah, there's the mods. The only thing that's left to do now is uh, show it off with some grain in there. All right, here it is up top. Pull this up, then lift this guy up and push it over. There we go, okay. So like I said, you just gotta lift this lip off of here. And then you can slide her on open like that. There we go. At this level, because I only put a thousand pounds in it, it's, um, I'm gonna have to keep prodding it with a stick. Filled one bucket. Now I'm gonna fill my dirty bucket. Nice and simple. Right. Cram that under there. Don't lose that pin. And uh, let's go ahead and lift her on up. And there we go. I will give it a little more. Oop. If I push down too far, it gets caught, it seems like. Yep, I pushed too down too far. Gosh darn it. Got my hammer. A little persuasion here. There. I don't know what's causing that to jam. It like kind of holds fine. Let's see here. It's nice and full. A little more. See if it held. It's not slamming or shut. Maybe just to gently close it. Maybe that's the ticket. Seems to be okay. Oops, don't want to go too far down. There we go. All right. Huh. It's definitely catching in that slot. I might have to grease it or something. I don't know yet. It still beats grabbing bag by bag. That's for sure. All right, I'm going to go feed the chickens. Till next time, I'm the ill-informed human. Bye-bye.